Hello everyone, in this video, I'm gonna be introducing modeling gene expression, all right? And so what we have is we have different types of cells. Remember, they all have the exact same type of the DNA, different type, same genes, all right? But what's gonna be different is that some are gonna be repressed or completely off or activated. Completely off just means that that'll never be turned on in the cell. We're gonna represent that as an X. If it's repressed, that just means it's not currently on. It's, it's off, but it could be turned on in that cell. And activated means it's being read. So the cell is actively making that protein, actively reading that gene, um, expressing that trait, we would say. All right? Now, let's just say that it was activated, but it wasn't being read a lot. Maybe we could show it green, but not as much. Right? If it's being activated a lot, we could draw a thicker line. So I'm actually going to skip over to muscle cell, and let's look at how would we model what's on and off in a normal muscle cell. So here I have this gene for actin smooth muscle type, all right? And the and if I'm not sure, like, what does this gene do again? You will always have this sheet to help you out. So actin smooth muscle type, this is muscle cells produce large amounts of this uh, protein for muscle contraction. So this is essentially muscle protein, and it's only in muscle cells. So if that's the case, we know that it's definitely not going to be completely off, all right? And if this is it's just a cell doing its, its normal thing, we're going to have actin being on. Okay. Now, one thing to note, though, is in this current circumstance, the cell is going to divide. Okay. So I'm going to go down here, and the cell respiration enzyme, same thing. I'm going to look at my chart. Cell respiration enzyme speeds up reactions for aerobic cell respiration, and it's found in all cells but red blood cells. So if that's the case, I'm also going to have this expressed on being read in my muscle cell. All right, let's go to lactase. Lactase is required for the digestion of lactose, the sugar and milk, and it's only in intestine cells. And this is a muscle cell, so if that's the case, it's going to be completely off. It's never going to be read in these cells. So going down to the cell growth controller, and if I read this, this stops cells from dividing. It helps prevent certain cancers, and it's present in all cell types. So what I have to ask myself is, well, is this cell dividing? And if I look at the current circumstances, yes, it's going to divide. Now, this is the trickiest one because if you notice, the cell growth controller stops cells from dividing. So if it's on, if it's being red, it's like a red light and it says, hey, don't divide. But if it is dividing, then it's going to be off. And the absence of this gene being red, you no longer have that stop sign and the cell is going to divide. So a little bit tricky with the cell growth controller. All right, if we keep on going on to, let's say, hemoglobin, it goes a little bit of out of order in this chart. But if I go down to hemoglobin, carries oxygen through cells in the body. This is only in red blood cells. So if this is a muscle cell, it's going to be completely turned off in this, in this DNA. And then, last, and then not lastly, but next, insulin. It's the hormone that regulates blood sugar. It's only in pancreas cells. This is a muscle cell. So I'm going to turn it off completely. All right. And then lastly, d DNA repair protein it, uh, repairs damaged DNA and it's present in all cell types. So if that's the case, I'm going to have it being expressed. It is going to be on. Okay. So let's see here. Um, let's go on to a pancreas cell. Let's, let's look at an example of that. So again, I'm going to look at actin. It was expressed before, but that was a muscle cell. For actin, right? It's only in muscle cells. So this is a pancreas cell, so it's going to be completely turned off, right? Cellular respiration enzyme is in all cells but red blood cells, right? And so all cells need energy, so that's going to be turned on, okay? And then let's see, this is the lactase enzyme is only in intestinal cells, so I'm going to turn this completely off, all right? The cell growth controller stops cells from dividing. It doesn't tell me that the cell is dividing at all, so if that's the case, Remember, when this is on, it stops cells from dividing. So this is actually going to be turned on. So when it's on, the cell is not dividing. Okay. Uh, DNA repair protein, all right? Again, it's going to be present in all cell types. So I'm going to turn that on right here. Going back over here, let's see. Hemoglobin carries oxygen to the cells throughout the body, all right? It's only in red blood cells. So that's going to be completely off in this cell or in this DNA too. Oop, sorry, that was the wrong one. My bad. All right, so now let's look at insulin, what I accidentally crossed out. I'm going to draw my line over here. So for insulin, this is in pancreas cells. Let's look at our chart. It's only in pancreas cells, so this is a pancreas cell. So if that's the case, I know that this is either going to be repressed or activated. 
I'm going to look at these circumstances. The person hasn't eaten, eaten a meal all day. So insulin's only released when blood sugar goes up, right? When you eat a meal. And so if you haven't eaten a meal all day, your cells could produce insulin, but since it's not needed right now, since you haven't eaten a meal, that's going to be turned off at the moment. Now, once you eat a meal, right, this cell will certainly turn this switch on, right, to being expressed, to being green, and it'll make insulin and it'll send it throughout the body. But for at the moment, the cell is not making it, all right? So what we see here is an example of the same DNA in all of these cells, right? But depending on the cell, the type of cell, right, looking at this chart right here, and then also depending on the circumstances, all right, that that cell's in, the DNA is going to be read differently in each cell. That's gene expression.